Hello, everyone. I'm Amy. Today, I'm going to talk about two famous people that have a great influence on me. They are Radu and Crandu. Radu and Crandu are siblings who have studied in Singapore in their childhood. After graduating from senior high schools in Taiwan, they majored in English at Fujian University. Ray started to learn how to make good use of technology in English teaching. Interested in making videos and having a great passion for education, Ray started his YouTube channel Radio English in January 2015 to teach students some useful skills for learning English. In the former videos, Ray is the only host for his channel. However, Crown joined his work and showed up for the first time in one of the videos in September 2015. From then on, they devoted themselves to providing the audience with educational and high-quality videos. Thanks to their great endeavor, they built a team and cooperated with not only other YouTubers but also famous figures that we all recognize. Such as the president Tsai Ing-wen and the mayor of Taipei City, Ke Wenzhe. Apart from their excellent work in the field of YouTube channel, they also publish English learning books and magazines, release singles, ran a beverage store, hosted ICRT, gave online courses, and so on. Recently. Ray and other cooperating partners published an advertisement on the New York Times on the 20th of March 2020, with several clear words: "Who can help Taiwan?" to show Taiwanese determination and strong support. The first time I noticed the channel Radio English was a sign that I wanted to learn English speaking at senior high school. Due to the useful skills and various topics they offered, I soon fell in love with the channel. A few years later, when I became a freshman at Fujian University, I found surprisingly that I studied in the same department as Ray and Crown. So I started to think about what the difference between us will be in the future, even though we have studied in the same circumstance. Before long, I found that I kept limiting myself in the field of English. To say it specifically, I considered being an English interpreter, an English secretary, or an English teacher to be the only choice for students graduating from the English department. However, observing Ray and Crown's working experience, I could find they did a lot of work which is not directly related to English. Although they did be teachers to teach English, they publish books and magazines, which combine language and editing. Moreover, they also participated in the work, which is only based on their interest. For example, Ray played the piano on YouTube. Crown started to run a beverage store and released two singles. Therefore, I tried to jump out of the limitation and focus on seeking my interest. What I learned from their story is that the major is not the limitation of your future career, but one of the supplementary abilities for your life to have more choices. On the other hand, I also think about what I can do for my family, classmates, and even society. Ray did a lot of work to express his idea and influence a part of society. For instance, he shot a video to the WHO and expressed that Taiwan is helpful to the world. He relied on his reputation on YouTube and spoke for some people in the world. It made me ponder what I can do for others with my ability. To sum up, life experience from Radu and Crandu encourages me to think about my attitude towards the future and what is my value to society. Thank you.